we're very pleased with this acquisition. Uh, these two companies together bring a revenue base of around $200 million uh, today. CIPLA has 8% of its revenues coming from the U.S. currently. We've publicly stated an ambition that that should be 20% of our business in the future over the next five years. This clearly allows us to accelerate our ambition uh, to achieve that goal. Uh, the two businesses, uh, Invagen has a, a manufacturing facility, 350,000 square foot, 12 billion tablet capacity, uh, has around 40 ANDAs, 30 marketed products and around another 30 products being filed over the next four years. Exelan is a sales and marketing uh, front end uh, working on government business. So it allows us to give us immediate scale in the U.S. market, access U.S. government business with our on uh, uh, the continent manufacturing, and also expand into other related territories. Okay, give us financial details for all our investors who are watching. When will this acquisition be EPS accretive for your company? And you, how are you funding this entire process? Yeah. So uh, this will be EPS accretive from the moment the transaction closes. There will be a number of formalities, regulatory approvals that will be required that we hope to conclude over the coming two to three months. Uh, the exact timing, it's hard to predict uh, right now. Um, so from the moment the transaction closes, we looked for it to be a margin accretive. But give us more details. Give us more details of the individual financials of these two companies and what are the margins that uh, these two companies work at? Yeah, we don't uh, reveal the detailed breakdown of the of the margin structure, uh, but uh, the fact that it's margin accretive will tell you that they have higher margins than our current average today. Our focus now is uh, first, once we close the transaction, how do we warmly incorporate and welcome these two companies into the CIPLA family and look how to further invest and accelerate our growth momentum in the US. There are 40 ANDAs as per the press release and five of them are first to file. Uh, which are these products and uh, can you give us more details of these uh, first to file? How big is the market? Which segment are they in or which are the products these are? For competitive reasons, I'm not going to give you the, the details, uh, but you can uh, see uh, these products coming to the market, as I mentioned, over the next two to three years. If you look at our portfolio, our organic portfolio, we'll see an increase in filing intensity from next year, but primarily from 2017 onwards with our respiratory filings. So this provides us with a, with a great bridge of some more near-term opportunities for CIPLA, some more near-term filings and approvals to allow us to drive steady growth from this year onwards towards our future ambition. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.